Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully now we have sound sorted. Um, it is Pip Tobin here from QueenPipCards.com with my day two of Adorable Owls um, card class. So I'm just waiting and checking whether Sean can hear me. Everybody's good. All righty. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Well, actually, it's good afternoon, but hey, ho. Um, it feels like morning still to me, too. So it's a lovely, bright, sunny day here today. I'm feeling much better. My voice is even getting better, which is good. And um, I'm here with day two of Adorable Owls card class. This is my free card class that I'm running for you this week. Um, we had a... Um... <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen Joe's comment. <laughs> It always makes me laugh. It's like, shh, not here again if work asks. I love it. I uh, love it, love it, love it. So, um, yes, yeah, so day two of Adorable Owls. We've got five cards in total. We're going to do two more today, and then we're going to come back tomorrow for the most complicated one, um, and also for like a, a little roundup of everything that's been going on. So today we're going to work on the next two. So we've done this one. Did this one yesterday. Okay, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch video number one. Uh, and then this one was we also did yesterday. So again, that's on video number one. Uh, as I explained yesterday, I, um, we're going to be using the fabulous Adorable Owl stamp set. I'm going to go and put my um, put it on my hands down actually, because then you'll see more. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that you can get a card kit if you live in the UK for this class um, for free. All you have to <coughs> excuse me. All you have to do is pop a, an order in with me online through my store. Uh, this is my store coming up here. And you just have to pop in the host code during your checkout procedure. OK, so as you're checking out, there's a little plus button that says add host code. And if you click on the little plus button, it will give you a box to put in the host code. Pop the host code in. That means it tells me that I know that you want the class. Um, so pop that in. And everyone who places a £45 um, order with me for product and puts that code in I will send you a card kit I've got 10 available two have already gone so we're waiting for the next eight to see who wants one of those so um, it's a limited time offer it's only available for five days or until I run out of kits so I think I've got about I think I've got 10 that I can do uh, based on the paper that I have so if you want one of those, then make sure that you put this host code in when you place an order. If you're in the UK, if you're in the States, I'm still waiting to hear back from Katina if she's actually been able to do this or not. But she might be able to do it another day. So um, it's always worth uh, just keeping an eye on that. And if I have it, I'll put it in for her as well because she's a member of this group. So and we work well together a lot. So there we go. So that's that. So where am I up to now? Here we go. David, hello. You did make a Valentine's Day card with me in Fleet. How are you? How are your albums going? I remember your albums were just stunning. Um, I hope you're still doing them. Um, and June's on as well. Hi, June. Fantastic. Oh, it's great to see everybody here again. I know it's a bit weird me coming in on a Tuesday. Normally I'm a Monday afternoon girl, but today we're doing Tuesday and we'll be doing another one tomorrow. So that will make everyone really confused. It'll be like, oh, my goodness, a whole week of pip. Um, so, <laughs> so if you're new to me, I teach women mainly um, how to make cards, how to, to learn how to make cards and go from a beginner to a confident card maker in four easy stages using my card making membership. Um, my card making know-how membership. So if you're interested in that, all the details are in the description are either above or below this, depending on where you're watching it from. Uh, but I also do free tutorials uh, and teach people here on my uh, YouTube channel, in my groups. Uh, and, you know, every now and again, I post something on my website as well in a blog. But mostly I do stuff on YouTube and Facebook. So if you're interested in learning from me more, obviously I do these free um, classes and I also do free tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff as well on my on my YouTube channel but if you want to know more and you want to learn the real in-depth part of card making so to take you right the way from basics using a kit and cardstock and adhesives and what tools to use and how to use a die cutting machine all the way through to um, all the techniques masking stenciling blending um, 
using embossing paste and all that kind of amazing stuff, fancy folds coming out your ears, one sheet wonders, all that kind of stuff, right the way through to a confident card maker, as well as the in-depth how to design your own cards so you don't actually need to copy someone else like me, um, then you need the card making know-how uh, membership. So uh, if that interests you, then just have a look uh, in the description below and have a look at the website page that tells you all you need to know about it and gives you the opportunity to join as well. So Betty's on again. Hi, Betty. Um, I know two mornings in a row getting up at half five. I hope it's not just for me, just so that you come and join me live. Although if it is, I'm very, um, very honoured. Uh, and what David says, he's just finishing five albums for a wedding. <gasps> Need to finish them before tomorrow. Well, don't be watching me then, David. Go watch, go finish your albums. Hopefully you're nearly done. Um, I'm sure you are. That's fantastic. Well done. Excellent. All righty. Oh, and Bet Betty says it's minus six this morning and expecting more snow. Ugh. Not sure I could. Not sure we could do with more snow. It's nice and sunny here. We're well into spring, so it's great. Um, right. Let's get down to business then. Let's switch over uh, to my hands. Let's put my lights on. That always helps so that we have some light and we can see. And then we put this light on and it makes it much better. There we go. Um, there we go. OK, I need to move that back because that's adding shadow. Right. Hopefully now everyone can see. Oh, is it just for me? Oh, look at this. Betty's getting up at half past six, half past five in the morning just to see me. I'm so honoured, Betty. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. All right. Everyone else needs to now, you know, top that. I, <laughs> that's fantastic. OK, so Adorable Owls. This is the stamp set we're using. These are the two cards we made yesterday, that one and that one. OK, and we are going to now make the next two. So what you're going to get is you're going to get um, all five packs. OK, not necessarily in um, in plastic sheets. They're going to come to you in the envelopes so that they're all in the envelope. So you just pick an envelope and get going uh, and then you have an envelope to put the card in afterwards. So uh, but that everything is going to be in there, all the die cuts that you need, everything. And this piece will be embossed. Uh, not with that one. It'll be embossed with the one we tried yesterday, which I think goes better. This gorgeous um, polka dot one. Isn't it amazing? So deep, that impression. It's fabulous. OK, so that's those are the cards that we're um, that we did yesterday. Today, we're focusing on two fun folds. OK, um, not massively difficult, but I thought I would do the two fun folds together. So the first we've got um, the first one. It's just a little fun fold, really. Uh, it's just this one. So it just has this little fold back piece here. Uh, and then it's um, got some nice paper inside. Now, I quite like this because it's unexpected and it just it just has this little kind of piece that you want to like touch and go, oh, what's that? You know, and then it's but it's obviously on purpose because it's stuck down. It's not like wafting around. You just caught it accidentally. And, um, you know, now you've got a, a nasty fold in your card. It's obviously done on purpose, uh, which is good. Uh, and then the second one is this one. Uh, which folds open like this. So it's just a, I'm a bit close here. Hold on. I'm going to move you back a bit. There we go. That's better. Um, so I can sit properly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so then there's this one that um, has this. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See that amazing. This is Mother of Pearl card here. Can you see how it glitter, glistens? Look at that. Now, this is actually retired, but I had a whole pack of it. And I thought, you know what? That's going to look amazing on there um, so that you can have a little bit of extra. And when you see it in real life, it really does glimmer. So, that's cool. Now, I haven't put white pieces on here, but you could put white pieces on the inside, obviously, uh, if you prefer not to write on paper. Um, or you could just pop them over and put them on the back. OK, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to now make these cards. So we need the pieces. Where are we? That's one. That's two. Right. So let's do let's do this one first. So we're going to make this one first. Now, this one we are going to need our, do you remember I told you you'd also get a piece of cardstock, like half a piece, half a sheet of cardstock. 
that's to do the owl because we're actually going to do a little bit of fussy cutting today <gasps> fussy cutting i know uh, but i'll show you how easy it is because i think people get scared if there's not a die they think oh no i can't cut that out uh, but actually you can i'm just going to move you down a smidge because i think you're going to see better me coloring there we go just tell me if that's too close and you're not getting a good image but hopefully you will I've remembered to turn my lid over so it's not going down ink side. I don't know why it gets so inky this one, but it does. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm stamping it at the edge because I'm going to cut it out anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to pop that down there and leave that for a second just to dry off. Meanwhile, we're going to assemble the card, which is quite simple, really. It, there's nothing, it's just that fold that we've got to get right, really. So we'll put the owl out of the way for a second. OK, so I've got these and you're going to get all of these pieces as well in the class if you um, place an order with me. So and of course, the good thing is that the stamp set's free. Right. So this is part of a cell. This is a celebration stamp set. So if you place a 45 pound order with me for whatever you want, could be for the blends, you know, the for the alcohol markers we're going to be using in a minute to color in the owls, um, could be for anything you fancy. Um, any of the dyes you see, you've seen me use or whatever. But if you put a £45 order in, you get all of that product and then you pick this stamp set for free as you go through checkout. So you're getting a £45 worth of product and a free stamp set. So that's another like, I don't know, 17, 18, 20 quids worth of product free. Uh, and it's a full size stamp set. You know, it's not, it's got these three and these three. So I'd say probably a 16, 16, 17 pound stamp set for free, which I think is really good. Um, so it's always worth shopping during celebration. And it means you're guaranteed you're going to get the stamp set that you need to work with for this class. OK, so now I'm going to I've taken this checker piece, which is actually the other side of this piece. I don't know if you can see that it has actually got a faint. Oh, there we go. See, it's got that kind of hexagonal um, look to it which is nice. So that's going to be on our inside. This is going to be on our outside. Oh, I'm still a bit stuffy, but I'm clear. Yay. I no longer have the dreaded virus, which is marvellous. My voice still sounds a little bit croaky, but it's better than it was. So that's good. Okay. So that's going to go on there. I love this gingham pattern. It's just yummy. Now, these papers are also free with a £90 order from Celebration because you get like a massive stack of them. Um, but you obviously, um, you don't need to do a big order if you don't want to. But if you've already got the owls and you fancy doing a big order and you go, actually, I'm going to just do this and then get the papers, you could do that too if you wanted to. Now, this just goes sort of edge to edge-ish like so under there just to break it up a little bit and then for this corner it's really simple you just fold it over um, and you decide how much or how little you want that to fold okay and then you use your bone folder and you really fold it over like so okay um oh look, i've dug into it with my nail now now it's got a mark on it i have to smooth that out a little bit that's the only problem with my nails they're so tough they tend to make marks in god's dog <clears throat> right there we go and they're not even fake they're all my own right and then we're going to glue it down so then we're going to go in here and we're going to glue this now you don't want to go too close to the edges because you don't want it wafting out when you squeeze it shut because you're going to squeeze it tight so we're going to pop that over and we're just going to hold that there Good morning, somebody from Facebook. Hello. If you um, if you want to have your name shown and be in with a chance to win a card, then you need to make sure StreamYard knows who you are. Um, and the way you do that is you go on here, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. That's the system I use that allows me to see my hands, switch to my face and read your comments all at the same time. Um, so if you go on there and you can do it while this is um while you're watching this, I think, and then just say yes. Yeah, I think you have to do it from the group. Uh, so there's a link in the description at the top of this video uh, or any other video that I've done in in um, 
in the group. So whatever group you're in, you just go on through the group, link it um, to that, and then it will allow you. As long as you're logged into Facebook inside a group, I think it will work. It's all very technical. Um, but then hopefully that will allow you to um, share your name if you want to. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. You don't have to. OK, so now what I'm doing is I'm just um, popping this in. And these edges are up a bit. So I'm just now gluing this piece, which is the opposite side, to the inside. And as I say, you could pop a bit of white on if you wanted to. Or this is um, light enough, actually. You could just write straight on top of this if you want to. So by adding this then into the middle of your card... See, now you've got that contrast in what's happening. So you've got like three contrasty pieces. Yeah. So you've got the gingham, the plane, and then the and then the hexagonal. So it just draws your eye down there a little bit, which is nice. OK, that's all we need for that part of it. Now we're just going to um, take the take this piece. Uh, we need to clean off my stuff. I haven't even cleaned it from yesterday. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hi, Jane. Jane's just joined us as well. Yeah, I know. I literally just went, oh, that's done. Stack it all up and get on with the next thing. <laughs> this morning I've been packing retreat boxes. Um, so if you got an erroneous message from me about the summer retreat, please ignore it. I'm sorry. I'm behind on all my steps in prep um, to get ready for a retreat. But it, we're, on our, we're on the way. I've sent you another one. So read that one instead. Um, okay. I think I need, I think I used a coastal cabana. Yeah. So you will need, um, you will need a couple of inks with this class. Obviously you're going to need the memento and the blends to do any coloring, but you're also going to need, um, coastal cabana for that. And then this is fresh freesia. So just a couple of things. And then yesterday it was just memento. So that was fine. And I think tomorrow we do granny apple green. So just a couple of inks that you'll need for it. So you could add that and make those part of your order. Now, where's my. Okay. Just want to check my stumping. Oh, it's pretty straight, actually. That's good. Okay. I need info about a summer retreat. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. If you want info about a summer retreat, uh, that's very simple. If you go to my website, creampipcards.com, and then if you look for uh, events on my menu, uh, under events, you'll find something called craft retreats. And in there will be all the details about my summer retreat. I don't know who you are, though. Say hello, and then I can point you in the right direction. That's close enough. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So, no, I don't, I'm not sure who you are. So whoever posted that, I'll come back and I'll check the comments. Um, have I even got the... Dun, dun, dun. I think, actually, you can... Uh... Yeah, no, I haven't got a link for it. But, yeah, if you go on to... Um queenpitcards.com and then there is a link there that um, talks about events and then you can go on and see everything about my in-person and my online so I do online as well I don't just do in person in fact I've just come off the back of doing my paper party and I had a fantastic review from somebody. Sue said something. And then I had another review yesterday as well from Nikki um, about how much they'd enjoyed Paper Party. Uh, again, because they're all repeat partiers. And that's my online retreat that I do where we focus purely on all the different papers. It's great. Spend a weekend playing with paper. It's fabulous. Starts on Friday, goes through to Saturday, Sunday, really these days although katina doesn't do anything on her sunday but um i put up a few things challenges and who's won a prize and all that kind of stuff um we have a lot of fun with the paper party 
and you get 10 card kits with that and a quarter pack of all the papers and that i only do that online because that's just a lot of work um with all the different paper packs and all that kind of stuff and it's just it's so nice to do it with katina but my in-person retreats i do with my friend allison who's the admin in, in my um uh, who's the admin in my public group with me. Um, and Alison helps me both in the design side of things. We sort of knock back ideas between us and come up with things um, that we want to do, uh, which is great. But she also comes along on the day and helps run it. So I'm looking forward to spending the day with Alison and everybody on Saturday. Can you believe it's come round already? I really can't believe it's here already. Although I have had the retreat stuff in my in my <laughs> in my house for about a month. But you know, better here than not than not arrive in time. That's the way I think about it. And this morning, I've packed all your bags. Yay! All the bags packed. Everything's ready to go. I just got to put my kit together. Alison's got to put her kit together. Although she's probably well ahead of the game. Um. As I said, I'm running a little bit behind. But, um, yeah, it's all packed and ready to go, so that's fab. Sort the prizes out, get all that stuff ready. Oh, I love retreat. I, I just, that and doing these lives, they are my favourite thing to do, which is why I do so many of them. So whether it's, an, it, whether it's an online retreat or an in-person retreat, they are my favourite, favourite things to do. Um, and so that's why I concentrate on them. And then my lives, which I love because I love chatting with all you guys. Um, and then that way I get the best of both worlds. You know, I get the online stuff for people who can't travel. Like Jo. Jo's here. She, jo says she loves it. She loves the setup as she can't always join live get togethers. Exactly. So, you know, it just means that you can come on, take it at your own pace. That's the beauty of the online one. The in-person one means that it's just a lot of fun, a lot of chatting, a lot of crafting, a lot of seeing what everyone else is doing, going, oh, I like that, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully a few new ideas from me and Alison. You know, we try very hard to have something kind of different, or at least if it's not different, it might be something that we've done before, but it might be in a different way or it might look slightly different or whatever. And I'm already planning the spring one. I can't plan the summer one yet, though, until I know what the new catalogue looks like, because I'll be using stuff from the new catalogue, which comes out uh, for me in April. So I'll be starting to plan the summer one in April. And. Um, yeah, and then we'll have news on that then and the June paper party will have news on that probably around April time as well, once Katina and I have got our heads together about what we're doing and all that kind of jazz but yeah it's fun it is fun but you know i know that not all of you can come so that's why i do these as well some free classes because i know not everyone has you know available cash to spend on everything crafty so and you have to balance it between you know getting good value for the i mean they're all good value in my mind but some of them are more expensive than the others that's just you know because i've got to pay hotels and stuff like that for the in-person ones um, but they're all pretty good value, but some people can't afford it. So then I'd like to give some free stuff. And I also do my membership so that if you, you know, want to have some, you know, because we have a class on membership every month apart from this month because it's retreat. Um, and because I had paper party this month as well, I just had everything going on in February. But every month other than that, we normally have a an online Zoom class, which you can join in or you can just come along and watch everything on video and not even have to speak to us you know that's the beauty of the membership as well it's all recorded and it's all stored up there for you forever okay so while i've been gassing on um doing a sneak peek while eating and work excellent jane i love that um so while i've been gassing on i've also been coloring in hopefully you've been following along with that um and we'll just do his little her, her we decided her little beak and then her eyes when i need the other one of these to do her 
hat properly. Hold on, I might I have to go and grab one of them because uh, I want to do some light ones here and a light little bubble, and then I want to do some dark ones in between. Hold on. I forgot I needed this one for this one. You get them as a pack of two anyway, so you're always going to have the darker one if you've got the lighter one. So that's good because they come together as a pack. Right. OK, so that's that. Now we're going to get to do some fussy cutting. I'm sorry I can't speed this up because I'm live. Um, but, you know, we can chat. Ask me some questions. Ask me what you think, you know, what I think of this or that. I know we've got some exciting things coming up. I mean, we've still got celebration going on at the minute. Does everybody know what that is? If you don't, shout and I can tell you. Because celebration's great and we get lots of good stuff in celebration. Now, see how I'm turning the paper and not the scissors? The scissors stay still and I just turn the paper. This gets a much even and closer cut to your um, design. I'm leaving little bits like this and I'll come back and fix those in a minute. But for the most part, I'm just going to stay like this. Coming in relatively close and just moving the scissors. I mean the paper. Get it right, Pip. I don't want to go in so close that it looks like I'm going to chop a toe off. But I also don't, don't want to leave big gaps of white around, even though it's going to go on a white card. I still want to have that sort of lift about it, if you know what I mean. So it looks like it's lifted. We'll put some dimensionals underneath this. You're loving this little owl, says Melly. I know, isn't she cute? She's just so adorable. I wish you could buy Stamping Up over there, Melly. It's so sad that they're not in Italy. One day, you never know, one day. Or you're just going to have to come on holiday and have somebody in the UK that you can get stuff sent to. I shouldn't say this, really. But, you know, you come on holiday and just share share some stuff with you from your friend. Your friend could give you a present. You know, that kind of stuff. I know people who gift things all over the place. I know it's the same in South Africa. Everyone always wants us to be in South Africa as well. And I know Sally, Denmark. Don't, don't, don't think I'm not I'm not um, paying attention. We have a big Nordic group in our um, in my free group, and and they're all like, when is stamping up coming to Norway, and when is it coming to Denmark and Sweden? We haven't got any Finns, to be fair. I don't think. Um, but we've just opened in Ireland and Belgium, so that's cool. We've got some, we've got some um, good stuff there. Uh, oh, okay. Hi, somebody from Australia has joined us. That's lovely. Hello. Hello. I'm not sure who you are, so let me know. You can always go onto Facebook and um, you can always go onto streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and say, share your name. Uh, you need to know about celebration. OK. Oh, and we got someone in from Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. Love it. OK. Need to know about celebration. Celebration is a sale, basically. Well, it's not even a sale. Um, every year, and it's only once a year This now. It's, they've, they tried it out twice last year and decided they don't want to do that anymore. So they're doing it once. So once a year, we get this extra special little brochure called the Celebration. Um which is a play on words, obviously. Um, and in here, these are all free product. So everything that you see in here. So here's the owls. OK, these are the owls and a, a bunch of thanks, which is a bunch of carrots. I know weird, but true. Uh, and they actually look quite nice when they're when they're in cards and stuff. Um, you can get papers, um, more papers covered in farmyard stuff. Um, some sending support 
sentiments like um, some days are harder than others. Um, hope today is one of the easier ones. Uh, there are so many ways you might feel right now. Alone shouldn't be one of them. Here for you always. Good luck. All that kind of stuff. So really good sentiments there. More papers. Look at these stunning papers. I use these for the bold background video I did the other week. Um, in the country, if you like that kind of watercolory look. Um, and then we go on to the £90 one. So this is a big stamp set, um, free with a £90 order. And then there's that big pack of papers, which I'm using here. Whoops. Uh, that's these papers that I'm using for these cards is this one called Dandy Designs, um, which are free with a £90 order. So basically all of these items are free with an order. Um, so it tells you here, €60, Euros, £45 order uh, purchase. And then you pick this for free um, when you're ordering. OK, Um Someone says, hi, I'm in Spain. Hello. If you're in Spain or Italy, sadly, you cannot um, purchase from Stampin' Up. It's They are in UK, Ireland, Netherlands, Belgium, France, Germany and Austria. OK, they're the European countries where they sell. Um, but that's what Celebration is. And then the final thing that's in Celebration, which people tend to forget is if you do a mammoth order of 275 pounds you get free stamp set but if you're going to do that i would seriously recommend that you join so at the moment we've got you know i've got my little um stamping cut and emboss the white one well at the moment they've got a special limited edition blue one called um boho blue and sneak peek this is one of the new colors coming out in may oh so exciting um so the, the joining offer is simple. You have two options with the with this cut and emboss. You can either get it in blue or you can get it in white. You choose £179 worth of products, completely separate to the stamping cut and emboss. So £170 worth of product or €230. Euros, and you only pay £125 or 160 euros and you get the mini as well okay white or blue those are your two options with the minis or you choose 170 pounds worth of product and just pay 99 pound but don't get the machine so it's really simple it's either um 129 euros or 99 pound and just get 170 pounds worth of product or if you want to add the mini on top of the 170 pounds free product then you pay 125 pound or 160 euro i mean it's such a steal it's brilliant but this runs out at the end of uh, february this month so not long now before you can't get it anymore well you can get the starter kit you can always get the starter kit the starter kit is normally 130 pounds worth of product for 99 quid but now they're giving anyone an extra 40 quids worth of product and the option to get the stamping cut and emboss for 26 pounds and it's worth £56. I mean, what's a lot to love, right? It's just a lot of it's just a lot of free stuff. And my team get all my tutorials as well for free anyway. So if you join my team, you're going to get the tutorial for this class anyway. And you'll be able to buy all the stuff you need to make it yourself. The only thing you can't do if you join is you can't choose the owls. Because your um basically your £170 is your celebration item. Like the extra 40 quid is your celebration item. So you can't pick the owls as well. Uh, but then you can place your first order within seven days. Uh, not within seven days, after seven days. Because you've got to have that time to cool off and reject it and say, no, I made a mistake. I didn't want it. Send it back. Nobody does that. Just saying. Um But yeah, so um, after seven days, which is a legal requirement in the UK, um, then you can buy whatever you want and you get 20% discount, but you still get to have all the freebies, <laughs> which is fab. So you're going to get the free celebration items with every £45 order, but you pay £45 less 20% because that's the discount. I mean, it's it's I mean, if you are a crafter and you buy on a regular basis, then joining Stampin' Up is a is a win win. But you have to do it on a regular basis because, well, I mean, it's great for the first offer. So you can sign up, get the offer, have a marvellous time, enjoy it and then stop. 
but the real benefit comes from that long term shopping. Um, and if you're doing the long term shopping and you want to stay active, then you have to do like a certain amount over three months. But, you know, if you just if you don't want to do that and you just want to come in and have a look and try it out and see what you think and maybe do some shopping for the first couple of months and see what you think, you can do that for sure if you want to. Um, but it's the discount on top of the starter offer that really gets you your mega discounts and really works much like just awesome. It's just a matter. Plus, you join my team. <laughs> you know, why would you not want to do that? Because team's awesome. Right. OK, here we go. Uh, put that in there. And if you're liking my customer tutorials and you think oh, I don't want to join your team because I'll miss out on those. No, no, no. Um, they my team get all of those and you can still come to retreat and all that kind of stuff which they don't get because that's separate but um you know they you can come and get all my normal customer like free with an order tutorials and all that so oh yeah did i mention that you also get tutorials free from me when you order um so if you spend anything you get one tutorial set and if you spend over 50 quid you get two tutorial sets so you could end up with 25 car designs every month right oh i feel like i've been um waffling on uh joe says she can't wait for her free papers and they look lovely yes they are beautiful jane says can you buy the blue mini if you're a demo yes you can jane um but you have to pay full price for it so it is available in supply items i believe or in might be under celebration info can't remember but yes you can Oh, just had to take a swig of tea. Sorry. Right. There we go. So that's our first fun fold. Just a little fun fold. But it's, you know, it's nice nonetheless with our cute little owl on top. She's so cute. What do you think? Oh, I've lost one. Where did that come from? Oh, no, that must be that one that's missing from here. I knew I'd find it eventually. This one came off of the sticky back. Did where it had gone. There we go. Now I can use him. Great. All right, so that's that. Now let's do card number four. Yes, card number four, which is this little beauty. All righty, so pop that one in my envelope, get my next lot out. Oh, hi, Amy. I didn't see you there. Oh, you've come in from the US. Hello, welcome. Lovely to see you. Um, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you like it. Okay. Oh, good. Thanks, man. Thanks, Melly. OK, so here we go. We start off with a normal card, but instead of a card that opens like a like a book. OK, we have to cut it the other way. So it opens more like a tent. Okay, so it stands more like a tent. All right. Um, now, this one, I've got a bit of dodgy cardstock here. It's got a bit of a dodgy end, but that's OK, because I'm just making it for me. And we're going to chop it off. So we start off with a bit like this, but then we've got to cut it down to make this shortened flap. OK, so we're going to pop that um, over to one side, along with all the bits that we need. Get my trusty trimmer out. Oh, dear. Um, and I'm just going to chop that bit off. And again, all the instructions, the how much you need to cut off, etc., will all be in your... Um, in fact, I might even give it to you um, chopped. I can't remember what, what I decided now. I think I'm going to give you instructions on how to chop it. OK, so there's that. And then all the sizings and everything, if you want to make them again, save you having to like measure everything, they'll all be in the tutorial that you're going to get when you buy this class. So... I'm going to pop. I feel I feel sad about hiding this beautiful flowery paper, but it's okay because we're going to have some. Some of it will be on show in a moment. Okay, so pop this one down on here. And this is why I like the. Everyone says, "What glue do you use?" And I go, "I use multi-purpose liquid glue." And they go, "Huh? What's that? That's just what that's what Stampin' Up calls it. Uh, multi." multi liquid glue it's actually multi mono liquid glue but they say it's multi purpose but it now says whatever but it's called tombow green glue is what i call it the green glue um it's not actually green it's white um and it dries clear but um it's got the it's got the um 
the green lids. So that's why I call it green glue. And I like it because I have wiggle room, but when it's down, it is down and nothing is moving it. It's fantastic. All righty. So then we're going to do the next bits. Oh, hi, Comfort Creations. Hello. You love this stamp set. It is the cutest. It is indeed. I'm not sure who you are. I don't. I do. I mean, I know that you've been watching, that you've watched me before, but I'm not sure if I can put a name to the comfort, to the business name. So let me know who you are. Now I'm going to pop that down there like so. And then there's this gorgeous mother of pearl. Now, with all foiled um, paper, I normally say to you, use um, a stamping seal. So I like to switch it up and just use my seal on the back of this. Um, and it still keeps it nice and firm. But as you can see, because it sticks to your fingers, uh, but it won't leave any marks on the front of that nice mother of pearl cardstock. There we go. But if you don't have mother of pearl at home, if you're following along at home, just doing it your way, then you could use um, foil or glitter paper or anything like that. It would work. OK, so now we're going to do another owl that we haven't done before. Finally, you say, where's the one with a little bow tie? Because that one's really cute. Yes, we're going to use that one today. So, uh, oh, I need a bigger stamp set. I need a bigger block. And of course, they're all in use, aren't they? Aren't they, Pip? Not cleaned. <laughs> Don't tell me off. I'll clean them later. There we go. Alison's probably now just like going, ooh. Um, she hasn't cleaned it. She hasn't cleaned it. Right. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for my ink pad. There we go. And also the words, my friend. No, it's not that ink pad, is it? It's the fresh freezer. There we go. Fresh freezer. All righty. We need this, these words, my friend. So nice, isn't it? You could say, um, you know, who, who, my friend or whatever, but my friend is fine. Just do that. Again, I want to check how straight it is. Always check how straight things are. And then you can use your grid paper to actually line stuff up as well, which is quite handy. Uh, that's not straight on my block there, is it? No. Let's try that. It's a bit better. So if I do that, is that straight? Oh, yeah, that is. OK, cool. So uh, I've put it at the top on this one. I'm just going to pop this up here, which is slightly harder to see. So I'm bending over forwards and seeing if I can line that up. Oh, yeah, it's a bit low, though. We might have a bit of an issue with his ears. I'll be a bit close, but it'll be OK. I think we can get away with it just for this one. We'll get away with it. I would recommending I would recommend stamping that a little higher in norm in it when you do when you get it. When you do this at home, <laughs> stamp it a little higher. Don't do what Pip does. No, do what Pip does most of the time. There we go. But, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. But it's just a design change. That's all it is. It means I can put a, um, a sequin or something up on the other side. So let's move this over a little bit. Like so, I think. Fingers crossed. Oh, stuck. Come on. There we go. Oh, look, see? Still room. Just about. Whew. All righty. So now we're going to colour this one in again. Sorry, I can't fast forward this bit. Hello, we've got somebody watching from Scotland. That's lovely. Well, we've got June already watching from Scotland, so, uh, but I'm not sure who we have else because I can't see your name. But this is my adorable Owls card glass, and you can earn this card kit for free in case you're just catching up now because we've had some new joiners since I explained it all. So you'll get all the pieces for this card kit mailed to your door if you live in the UK. Um, if you place an order over £45 and use my host code while I'm colouring this in, let me just pop that up for you 
so that it's really easy for you to find that. So this is my store. OK, queenpipcards.com forward slash store. Very easy. Uh, and then during checkout, you just need to put that host code into your basket. I'm going to move a little higher so it's not in the way. Um, and yeah, with a £45 order before the end of Friday this week, you will get this card kit cut, prepped, packed with all the envelopes um, and everything you need to be ready to send it. And the beauty and why I've done it with a £45 order is because when you place a £45 order, you can pick this stamp set as your free gift for celebration from Stampin' Up. So there you go. And I know I'm being very Stamping up -y this week, but it's because I want to, you know, give people the opportunity. Maybe you've never purchased Stampin' Up from me before. Um, and, you know, if you want to do it from anywhere else in Europe, that's fine. Uh, but I might just have to see how much the postage is to get everything out to you. And I might just have to ask you to pay a little bit extra to help with the fee of postage, purely because it is so pricey to spend to send a parcel. And it will be a parcel by the time I've finished with it and got it packaged up and everything. It'll be like a little, well, maybe a large letter. Um, it's so pricey these days to send stuff abroad. But, you know, if you're in any of the other um, Stampin' Up! countries and you want to do that, then place the order, let me know. I'll go and check with the post office how much it is. And then if I need any like additional pennies, which will be like hopefully like a euro or something, I'll let you know. And it might still be OK to send because it's quite, you know, it's quite light. I just don't know. I haven't worked it out. So if you're in um, Ireland and you want to try out Stampin' Up! for the first time, you can shop with me. This time you'll need to go to uh, queenpipcards.com forward slash Ireland. Or if you're in Belgium, um, you can go onto my store. But if you're in any of the other ones, uh, Belgium, you can do Belgium. If you're in any of the other ones, just change the top of your, uh, uh, change the flag at the top of your screen um, to your country's flag. And then that way you'll jump into your country, but you'll still stay with me as your demonstrator consultant and then that means that um you can still put my host code in and all that jazz so or at least it should work if it doesn't let me know we'll try and fix it through um demo support but hopefully it should be fine so yeah maybe you've never tried stamping up before you know i've got a lot of people in my group here that um are new to stamping up um and so I just wanted to give you an idea of the, you know, the products and what's available. Lots of people are asking, you know, where do I get alcohol markers? Where do I get good um, cutting, you know, cutting machines, etc. Well, I've covered all of that basically today. And these are fantastic alcohol markers. And you need soft suede, crumb cake, fresh freezer. Uh, pool party and pumpkin pie those are the colors that i've used and so if you grab those they could be part of your starter kit or they could be part of your first order to get to 45 pounds you know so either way that would that would be good that would work that's a bit light to move that one down um it's better so, yeah, so I just thought I would do like a class. I haven't done a class for ages, not since before Christmas. Did I do one before Christmas or was it the Christmas? I think it was even the Christmas before. It was back in 2021 that I did a, a three-week, four-week card class with a class every week um, making Christmas cards and stuff. So I thought, oh, it's time I did a, a class again. Now, if you're in... Uh, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the US. If you're in the US, my good friend Katina Martinez can help you out. Um, and I'm hoping that she's going to do card kits as well. But I haven't heard back from her this week. She's been really busy because she she took the brunt of paper party for me this weekend because I was sick. Um, so she did a lot. So she's probably trying to catch up from that. Um, but we did talk about her also doing 
the host code thing and the free um, card kit. So I just need to confirm with her whether she's still got that planned as a as an option. Um, if you're in Canada, I can refer you to somebody. Uh, if you're in New Zealand and Australia, I can refer you to somebody. So, you know, I've got I've got loads of contacts. Mainly through my, um, you know, meeting, all, meeting them all up, meeting them all up, meeting up with them all uh, on incentive trips and stuff like that. You know, I've been with Stamping Up now 11 years. I've earned eight incentive trips. So I've met a lot of people over my time. And, you know, we like to get together and help each other out. So I'm happy to refer to people not in the UK or whatever. So, yeah, it's just a, you know, it's just one of those nice things that you do for your friends, isn't it, really? So I got you. No matter where you are, I've got you. And then next week we'll be going back to learning different stuff. This week we're learning blending and we're learning fancy folds or at least cute folds might not be too fancy but they're fun fun folds and next next week we'll be back to doing something else i don't know what we're going to do oh book fold cards next week yeah right let's get rid of all that lot now hey allison allison's arrived better late than never absolutely allison always good to have you here you must have been your ears must have been burning so <laughs> your ears must have been burning because I've been talking about you helping me out at retreat this weekend coming up. Woohoo! Cannot wait for that. Right, back to her eyes. Actually, this one's a he, isn't it? Because it's got a bow tie. Although that's very gender specific and I should be slapped for that. This could be a he or a her. But I think we could make this one a him if we wanted to. The other ones I feel... I mean, with their eyelashes, they they all look like girls to me, to be honest. But, you know, you could make this one into a gentleman if you wanted to. So now we're going to use the fresh freesia. And we're going to give this some the dark, just a little dark around these bits here, because that's going to be darker than the rest of it. And then coming in with a light. Just to finish off the bow tie, which is so cute. I don't think it matters that my friend's a little close. I think it's all right. I think I've I've, I've got away with that one. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so now, ta -da, now we have my friend sorted out. That one we're going to put straight onto this bit of paper. Um, yeah, Alison's. <laughs> yes, yeah, so looking forward to this weekend retreat. Absolutely, we are so looking forward to this. Okay, so then this is coming on here. And then also they do great snacks, although, you know, we're not supposed to eat the snacks. We're supposed to be good, but they do great snacks at the retreat. <laughs> Food is important in my life. Okay, there we go. So we'll pop that on there. And then... Don't go anywhere, by the way, because um, if you can stay on, I am giving away a card at the end of this. So you might want to hang on and uh, get a card from me as well. Now, this one I did quite um, like. Oh, look, what's happened there? That one's fallen off. Obviously, I didn't stick that one down well enough. No, what's happened to it? Yeah, there we go. Um, this one I put almost like equal all the way around because i'm a little ocd but you could if you wanted to hang it off further and do it as like an offset card if you know what i mean so this side's a bit wider to kind of match more on this side you could almost put it centrally if you wanted to um it just depends on how much of that beautiful mother of pearl card you want to be seen um i'm going to do quite a bit i'm going to come down this strip here with my dimensionals I think this one. I like these because you can do straight edges where you want it to be a straight edge. And then you can do um, corner pieces for the corners. So they work great. 
uh, and anyone who knows me knows that I put a lot of dimensionals on because we don't want, what do we not want? Soggy bottom, soggy middles. No soggy middles with our cards. There's nothing worse than something arriving with someone and it being all kind of like mutilated through the postal system. <laughs> you know, in the nicest possible way to the post office, they, they're putting stuff through their machines to get it through. I understand that. But um, boy, does it get squished. Okay, take those off. And then about there-ish, okay. I'm going to pop that down on there. I'm trying to make sure top and bottom's the same. I can't see. Can I see? Oh, there we go. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and then again, some um, sequins. I'm using possibly different ones to the ones you're going to be getting, just because I like to. I'm not sure they're going to go, though. Uh, let's have a look. Got some of these orangey ones, they'll work. And these white ones, they'll work. The ones I'm sending you have got these lovely pink and gold ones in, but I don't want to use up all my stash and then not have enough to send out in the packs. So <laughs> gotta make sure. Gotta make sure I've got enough for everyone. Okay. As I say, limited numbers available for this kit. And you've got a limited time to get it from me. Um so make sure that you pop your order in as and when you can to get that fun with card kit in the post and i do like a lot of sequins i'll put this one over here i think there we go that one can come down here there we go so if you've commented and it's shown your name here and I've not said, oh, I don't know who that is, then you're going to get to go into the prize draw for a card. If you haven't, if your name isn't showing up. So like if I put you on and it's like I get this, um, then you need to comment again once you've got your name sorted out with um, StreamYard. OK, uh, because otherwise it can't tell who you are, so it can't pick up your name. So therefore it can't add you into the giveaway. All right, so that is card number four. So two fun folds today, this one, uh, and then this one with a little turn back corner. And then that adds to the two cards we made yesterday. Where are they? This one with this gorgeous new basics embossing folder. Love it. Uh, and this one, so cute flying. <laughs> and we've still got another card to go tomorrow. Um, I say it's complicated. It's not. It's just a little bit more than these ones. Um, it might take me a little bit longer and then we'll just recap on everything again. Um, but yeah, so that is it basically for today. Hopefully you like those two. And now I'm going to go and give a card away. Oh, look, I've got hearts and stuff. That's nice. Thank you. Um, so let me switch over here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ooh, wow. It's really bright. <laughs> so let us give a card away, shall we? Shall we do that? I think so. Um, let's see. We need to share my screen. Let me know what you think of this, whether you like me doing this as a, um, you know, a one-off free card class and stuff like that. Um, let me know if you like me doing this. And if so, um, I might do some more. <laughs> you never know um okay so i'm going to start collecting comments from today's we've got 12 today i think we had 13 yesterday so we're not doing too bad pretty close um and now i'm going to take it do a draw are we ready here we go i love this bit it's so fun who will it be who will it be can't be me it's chain yay chain look at that fantastic all righty so now I don't know why it pops me back like that. Let's do this. Um, oh, Susan, that's so kind of you. Thank you. That's nice to have you here watching. Um, um, Betty says they're really cute. Alison says he's really cute. And now Melly's congratulating uh, Jane. So, yeah, congratulations, Jane. You've won a card. Um, I might give it to you on Saturday. 
which is even better um, because you'll have it live and in your hand before you'd get it if I got to the post office this week. So same time, same place tomorrow? Yes, I think so. Uh, Pip Tobin here for CreamPipCards.com and the Card Making Know How membership. I would love for you to join me either at the membership, which is just cool. Um, get this card kit in the post for all five cards just by placing an order and using that host code again. Um, so just as a reminder for the host code, it is this one in case you are coming on late. Place an order with me, £45, and you will get all of your elements and everything there's only four here. Where's the other one? There we go. Um, all of the elements and everything that you need to make all of these plus instructions uh, in metric because I'm selling in the UK um, or Ireland in Europe, should I say. Um, so, yes, yeah, so all of these £45 order. Put this host code in and you're done. That's easy peasy. And then I will ship those out to you. Um, or come and join the membership. It's £15 a month, £40 for three months. And you get to continually learn and grow and, you know, find out more about card making and learn all the different techniques uh, from beginner all the way through to confident card maker. Or come to a treat and join us live, either in person or online. That would be cool, too. So until tomorrow, I will see you and have a lovely day. And um, yeah, enjoy. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.